Okay, so let's pretend that you don't have a local game store and you still want to draft Commander Masters. You are at Walmart and you see lots of these on shelf. You know, the you know, Commander Legends, Solomon's Street, there's a draft pack, or a bunch of these hanging on the rack. Which one do you choose? Well, let's face it, you know, this is probably better value because, of course, you know, it's $29.92, but these are $11.42 each. And, of course, that brings you up to, like, Three, four, twenty-six. And that's before tax. Anyways, let's imagine that these were both the same price. Which one would you get now? Well, let's crack these open and see, you know, which has the better pulls. I'm being it's probably gonna be the one on the right here. Alright. So three packs of Commander Legends. Is it worth it to buy three individual packs or one big pack with three packs? Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm just gonna save me all the time. Time to taste the open individual package, so at least. Alright, so it's three packs of Mary Legends, all fine individually. Are there good cards in here? Let's find out. I think I've done um, openings different times, not not recorded at all, but um, like I've opened three packs before and they usually have good pulls. I think usually at least one mythic with like the draft packs. So yeah. But who knows, we might luck out right now with just three packs. Alright, so first pack, force, Forceful Denial, Doom Traveler, Makeshift Munitions. Pro Tracker, Haunted Cloak. Oh yeah, and by the way, there is a um, foil in each of these, so definitely want to have some sleeves if you're, um, if you're drafting this, and just in case you pull something awesome. All Celebrants, Kinsale, and Kinsale of Courier, Elvis Visionary, Sky Diamond, Exquisite Huntmaster, Cliff Ascendant, Marfix Axe, Crusher Spire, Angelic Armaments, Volcanic Dragon, Lord Secret Stone, Court of Bounty, Hans Erickson, Erickson, Obeka, Brute Chronologist, Ambush Viper, and Mark Token. I never know in the Yelm individual packs because also, there's also a small chance, although very unlikely, of pulling like on the most coveted card of the set, Jewel Lotus, probably. Done operative. Now, of course, you know, cards will vary by pack, so, you know, don't expect to get everything that I show. Dying Rage, Runaway Together, Crushing Vines, Port of Betrayal, Bear Revelation, Filigree Familiar, Crazy Alarm, Noid Altasar, Blight Assassin, Fall from Favor, Cards Cutlass, Benevolent Blessing, First Response, Sire's Strong, that's a good removal, by the way, Skill Behemoth, Amphim Mutiner, Yuma Draga Chieftain, Gore Maldrak, Amphinologist, Pro Tracker, all oh men. These cards, just by the way, um, they've really crawled. You can't really pick up that long card here. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna be a Pringle soon. Uh, Troll Tracker, and of course, another Monarch token. So, yeah, I think we're up to just a couple of bigger rares right now. Or, no, yeah, just. Yeah, so two rares per pack at least, yeah. Let's see. We might be able to break even in here. I don't know. Okay, Invoker, Preordain. Oh, I think I need that, by the way. Um, Souls Might, Crow of Dark Tidings, Energy Goblin, Ancestral Blade. I wish they'd stop reprinting that. They've got, they've printed that in so many sets right now. Um, is that at least an M20 and then, uh, some of the other Commander sets? Maybe, I don't know. Can't remember exactly. Wild Size, Charcoal Diamond, Seer Seer, 
Soul's Fire, Captain's Call, Perilous Mirror, Terramorph Experience, Skilled Animator, that was from M19, I think, um, Arcane Signet, Ordeal of Nalia, Jessica's Will, Brynlin, the Moon Kraken, Crack Thumbless. We have referencing um Crack Salm, other thumb or whatever, and, and Crack Thumb. Yeah, um, Dragon Mantle, um, foil, and a copy token. So yeah, I mean definitely those are, are buys. So don't buy individual packs if you're planning on drafting unless you have to. Like you know, like your Walmart's all sold out of these, which I think. I think I know how to open these. I think you're supposed to open them for the bottle because this, this is almost the same packaging as like all Modern Horizons draft packs as well. So, yeah. Okay, let's Christ open and see just how much better our pulls are from this because I think these ones might be seated. Yeah, this is just kind of a warning you know, not to buy individual packs. So, yeah, let's see if these have value. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, so besides the three packs, so you get um. By buying this, it looks like they also give you a little bit of instruction as far as how to draft. So let's have a look. I haven't opened one of these yet, but yeah. Um, oh yeah. I think these are also in the box hoppers of the uh, Commander of Legends boxes as well. Uh, I'm not going to read all this, but yeah, I mean, like there's one of these on, I'm guessing in every packet, I mean, package of, um, of Commander of Legends, so you can get the sword in the big boxes. But yeah, basically just tells you about how to do the draft and how to build your deck and about the Prismatic Piper, which everyone has access to, and then rules for Commander. And like 60 player, and of course, yeah, I mean, like, like this is directly from the booster box. So it lists the different, and dark, and list, it lists the different um, draft archetypes. Um, something you definitely want to avoid is um, drafting more than two colors for sure. Because if you draft three colors, then your deck's virtually unplayable. I mean, that has happened to me, or happened to someone else. Um, I was at a draft one time. You know, the one I played was um, um, Boros, and then of course you have someone else um try to play Jund, and and your, their deck didn't work too well. So it's enough of that. All right. All right. So there should probably, probably be at least one mythic in here. I mean, I think they're kind of seated, but um, let's have it crack them open and see what we get. First pack, we've got Rummaging Goblin, Grinch Assistant, Universal Solvent, Boarding Party, Omen Speaker. I think the cards, um, the cards I feel is a little bit different with these. I, mean, I don't know. Sparring Roar, Sears Laren, Phyrexian Rager, Fiery Cannon on, Sky Lither Shot, Finn Clade Fugitives, Maelstrom Colossus, Commander Steer. These things are kind of sliding in, probably because of the coding. Uh, Codex Strider. It's a good card from Mill. Um, Humble Defector, Monstrous Onslaught, and of course one of the Battlelands, um, Rejuvenating Springs. All right, we're, we're getting our money back, or money to worth, I guess you'd say. Uh, Malcolm Keenite Navigator. Kalfenor and Last U. I'll have the last say about that. <laughs> uh, Ivory, uh, Armory of Iros and a Spirit Token. So yeah, that was a wave of a pull there. And then some of the other packs we got. I think, yeah, these are all in three packs and they kind of give you everything you need to, for draft besides basic lands. Definitely, if you're hosting a draft, besides these, you definitely want to have some basic lands around. Second pack. Dune Traveler, Falcon Invoker, Preordain again. Souls Might, Crow, Ghastly Demise, Angel of Dawn, Whistling of Bowmaster, High Blight Callers, Court. Cartographer, Silverback Shaman, Man Tower, Spectral Searchlight, that's also in Battle Bond, I think. Tangible Virtue, Volcanic Torrent, ooh, Demonic Lore, that's pretty good. Um, yeah, Jessica's Will, Kodama of the East Tree, um, Tevish Sight, Doom of Fools, and Captain's Call Foil. So yeah, I mean, that's that's also Mythic, please. Yeah, those are Mythic for the box, probably. I mean, I'd be extremely lucky to 
pack and another mythic and stuff like that. I don't know, last pack. Can we get Jewel Glow out of this? Some um, probably not, but you know, if you buy enough of these and I swear you might pull one out and likely, I don't know, I mean like it's a mythic, so I mean like probably one for every case of these likely, I don't know. But yeah, all right, this is looking pretty good for you know not some um, buying like individual packs. So yeah, don't be an idiot and buy individual packs unless they're sold out of these three packs. Define Salvager, Portent of Betrayal, Tro Tracker, Elder Beast, Colin Trail Blazer, Sailor of Means, Elvis Doomsayer, Ezra Fleet Admiral, Meth Bread Patrol, Sentinel Spider, Founder Inspector, Lumen Grade Gargoyle, Cargoyle, Armillary Spear, Valve of Lightning, Thirst for Knowledge, that's classic for Artifact X, Ordeal of Nalia, Soulfire Eruption, ooh. That's another mythic. So yeah, I was right on the nose there on you know, saying you could probably crack two mythics easily. Armax Guild Agree Thrasher. No Strove Voice of the Crags. Oh, and we've got one of the uh, special Eshwell um cards. Sork all in just and a copy token. So something I'll just show you quickly for um sign off is that the fact that with the uh curved falls and the uh, Ash Falls, they don't curve. Like the uh, other ones. Like I've been keeping these in a box lately, but yeah. So we'll just put these, push these aside. These ones are still straight. I've actually had these out for a little while and stuff like that. So the, and of course I've also got them in sleeves, but the one I don't have in sleeves, the uh, shoot, where to put it out? <coughs> I'll see these down. So I've had these double sleeved and they're already curling. I mean I've had them double I and mean, I've kind of double sleeved them right out of the um packs and they curled and stuff. Um where did I put this on? But yeah, this is just showing how curled they get if you leave them out too long and stuff like that. These edge falls I've had for a while now, they are straight. They're straight as a board. So yeah, I think Wizards really needs to fix their foil problem because I'm like, if these can stay straight for very long, there's no excuse, you know, not to um, deliver the same quality from this to this, you know, regular foils. So yeah, hopefully, you know, um, next year when Calheim releases, they'll have fixed that problem, you know, seeing how, how much potential they have with um, Commander Legends, you know, and their edge foils. But yeah, until then, I'll see you later.